So this is the auteur, I think is how you say it. This is the auteur um, Laser Master 3. And this is what we're going to assemble right now. We're going to assemble this one and see how it works. Auteur were nice enough to provide me with the laser engraver. And I'm going to put it together right now. So I've unboxed it and here's all the bits and pieces that I have that I need to put together. And I gotta work my way through the instructions here just to put it together. It doesn't look like it's too complicated. It's got, you know, the four pieces make the shape of it and then you've got that one arm that's gonna move around on it. So let's see what we got. Okay, so now we've got the two, the right and the left are both in. Now the one thing with the left side is you got to make sure that that cable there is over to the one side otherwise it gets caught on the screw down here. There's that screw there and there's a similar screw on this side but there's no there's no wire or cable on this side, so those are the two screws holding the thing together at the moment. And then what we're going to do is put on the uh, XY arm, so we're going to do that next. And we just slid this XY arm. And it just slides on there nicely. Feels like it's on pretty good. You can see the rollers that it's on with. And that makes it pretty easy to assemble. So now I'm going to put the front part on. We'll take care of that and I'll catch you back up. So now we have the front part on. There's that wire coming out the end there. Again, two more screws. Just to assemble that. There's a screw over here as well. And so if you look at those and I have to move the camera around so that you can see all this. I haven't got a place where I can go far enough back and still let you see what's going on. So now what we're going to do, and again, we're using this small, this book and we're going to go from this book and we're going to make, finish up the assembly and we should be rocking and rolling here soon. So that was fun. So what you have to do is down in there, I don't know if I can get to it, but down in there, there's a, one of the stepper motors. You have to get that timing belt to go around the stepper motor. And then you put it on this idler up here. Now in the picture, this idler has teeth, but it really doesn't have teeth when you see it in real life. Then with that idler, you have to use that little locking nut there, or locking screw, that grub screw. You need that, and that will put the tension on the idler, and it makes this belt tight and that belt is actually hooked in to those teeth there on the XY piece so now the, the idlers should move that guy up and down so then after you've done all that you have to attach your antenna did that and then we should be good to to put the laser on so we should be good to put the laser on now we've got the antenna on so that's the next thing I'm going to be looking at and I'll let you know so to put the laser on it's basically just held on with a thumb screw. So that's the laser there. I'm going to see if I can get around that side for you. And there's a thumb screw. And you just have to watch because that thumb screw is actually in at an angle. If I see if I can go from the top. You can see the angle that that thumb screw goes in at. So just watch out for that because I try to put it in straight and it'll cross straight it if you do that. So I didn't do that. 
So this is the actual this is the actual laser unit and it's now sitting up here and I'm going to be able to put you on a tripod here soon. So now you can see the the laser set up and I've cleared off the, the desk a little bit. It takes up quite a lot of room so I'm going to have to have to move it to the end of the desk maybe to make it work but for now I think we're okay and uh, we'll go from here we'll we'll get this guy moving and then we should be all set so what I've done now is I have connected this wire we put some cable ties on and give you a view of that. Some cable ties on, we'll cut those off in a minute. Then that goes into a mess of wires in the back here. And then there's some cable ties that run along here where it all connects into the front there. So I must admit I'm having a little struggle with this tiny little book and the instructions are not perfectly clear. I'm sort of working my way through it, but it's taking me longer than I thought it was going to. So, it all looks good so far. What we're gonna do now is we are gonna see if we can get power to it and see what happens. So I'm just quickly looking through the book, see what we need to do to operate it. Note, before starting the machine for use, you must insert the TF card, otherwise the operational machine will have problems. So I'm gonna find that TF card now. And it shipped. It shipped with this little card. So I got that little guy. Bring you over here a bit. So I got that little guy. And I can get the card out of there. And the card goes in the back here. There's a little spot in the back. That's where I'm going to put it. I can see where it says card there. So I'm going to pop it in. And then we'll go from there. Let me get it all connected up and we'll see how it works. So, after a little bit of messing around here, I think we've got it to the point where the laser will cut. So I'm gonna try and show you one. Um, I'm gonna try and set it up so that we can do it with the, um, the camera being still. I'm gonna change the light in a little bit. I'm actually doing this with light burn. I don't know if you can see that. I'm actually doing it with light burn because I was at struggling with the um, easy laser i think it's called the app that goes on your phone i couldn't get it to work properly it was it kept connecting and then disconnecting and connecting it may be where i am from my router i'm, I'm quite a way out from my router so that could be it i basically set it up um i set the height of the laser just by if you look here i just brought the cover down to the surface and then just raised it up a tiny little bit I'm just going to do one quick cut for you and I'll show you what it looks like and we'll call it a wrap for today. I'm going to just change the lighting for you a little bit. Now I think you guys will be able to see it from there. Just let you get light burn going again. Put my glasses on. I will say that you do have to have your glasses on with this one because you do not want to expose your eyes to this. So here we go. First thing I'm going to do is frame it. It shows you where the frame goes. And then I'm going to cut one. I got this moving pretty fast. 
It's a very fine cut. I'll show you what it looks like once it's done. So it's exciting stuff. Take my green glasses off so I can see. You can see the heart shape there. I'll cut that out. And that's my first cut with this laser. So we'll go back into the video and I'll go over some of the thoughts. Just want to show you, here's the laser. You could hear it running. Um, here's the command and control. So when the light's on, everything's good. It got an uh, emergency stop button there. I will say, I think the emergency stop button is kind of small. And because of the where the key is, if I had to hit that in a hurry, I'd probably hit the key instead of hitting the emergency stop. Not the end of the world, but that's not how I would have done it. I'd have moved that key maybe somewhere else and give us a little bit of space there for um, hitting the emergency stop. The machine itself uh, is actually pretty well built. I really like it. It's quite quiet when it's moving. It moves fast. It seems to move fairly accurately. I'm quite liking the layout of it and of course this one has a massive bed so I've got 400 by 400 bed here um, that's wide open so it is a it is a good size if you're doing some engraving um, setting up origins not too bad you can move this around by hand and then in um, light burn you can basically set the origin wherever you want it to be so I'm gonna give it a go I'm gonna actually wrap this video here but I'll give it a go and cut some other stuff and then I'll show you some of that in a video too. The assembly not too bad a um, couple of little quirks in it trying to get the uh, uh, timing belts to hook around the um, pulleys that are in here the, the stepper motors in here if you look here it gives you a little bit of something about it trying to get that to hook around there one went on immediately, no problem at all. I got it on straight away. The other one, uh, not so much. So as far as being able to set it up and wire it up, the wiring itself is just plug and play. Nothing too crazy. Plug into the back of the laser, plug into this side. Everything seemed to be okay. The wireless part of it, um, like I said, I think I'm too far away from my router. It didn't, it, it wasn't great. It kept cutting in and out. So that was a problem. But honestly, plugging in with light burn, no issues at all. You get plugged in, get started up and get going. I was able to connect to this device on its, uh, as a web interface. And I was able to connect to that. If you go on the Artur site, it tells you the password, the login and password for everything. So you can do that. But honestly, light burn is streets ahead of anything else. So. I'll be just using light burn with it. And uh, yeah, I think a nice machine, very tidy, very easy to use. Um, takes up a little bit of desktop. If you look at my desktop, it's actually overhanging the desktop a little bit, but this is out in my shed, or sorry, my garage. And this is one of my long benches. So it's gonna be living here for a little while and we may find it a new spot in the future. I can't put it over here. I'm just pan you around quick. I can't put it here because that's my MP3, which is in. Oh, sorry, not my MP3. That is my MP CNC, which is in the process of being rebuilt. Now it is in pieces. And you can see I just put the legs in. So we're just getting ready to, to build that one too. And that's the emergency stop button I have with my um, MP CNC. You can see it's a little bit bigger, but I'd also put it out on its own so I can reach that. So all in all, I'm liking this machine. I, I think it's great. I am going to do some cutting on it. I want to see what it looks like. I'll set up some, some jobs and, and cut it. I don't think there's anything really crazy different between this and any other uh, engraver that you're using with light burn. I mean, light burn is basically going to do the, the hard work for you. But this seems like a very competent machine. I like it. So 
thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video i know it's a little bit strange when you go and gliding around but unfortunately to, when you're doing an assembly it's kind of hard to just have the camera sitting there because you can't see enough you can't get in close enough i know some people don't like it when i pan around but i'm gonna say it is what it is for today so we're all done i'm gonna put this together and then hopefully you'll enjoy it if you have give it a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please go ahead and do so i got loads of free cad stuff coming i got some more stuff with uh, my other laser engraver and of course my mp cnc is coming together and i'll have some video on that too for now though have fun see you in the next one